Hey y'all, it's Granny Grand, y'all, and it's Tuesday. We made it from Monday to Tuesday, so that is a blessing. Today, Mug Bank is going to be from dun, 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 Jersey Mike Subs, okay? And I'll be having Miss Vicky Jalapeno Chips on the side. Two bags. Because they don't put hardly nothing in up there for in that bag. And then we'll be drinking for our beverage, Pickly Pineapple Wilder's Beer, okay? And yes, it's that type of day. This is a... Please, no. Come on. <sighs> Why I'm doing my mug bank? Are you serious? I just said I'm about to bang. I'm but I'm I'm mug banging right now. Uh, okay. I'm about to do my mug bang. Okay, all right. You're embarrassing me. Okay, I'm live on my YouTube channel. All right, all right, love, you. love you too. Bye bye. Sorry about that, y'all. But I had to take the call. Anyway, back to my bang. Um, yeah, this is Jersey. Jersey Mike's. Just wanted to make sure I was saying it right. Because y'all know I'll be getting tongue tied and be getting everything off. Remember, uh, what, what, what did I just do? That I had it all messed up. It was a uh, Longaniza, but I was saying Laguinza or some crazy old thing. Crazy name. Anyway, this is my paper plate here. I don't even need. Oh, I'm going to use all of them. Okay, this is my sandwich here. New Jersey Mike's. And on here, we have the regular lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, mayo, mustard. Oh, and peppers. Wax peppers, yellow peppers, but I got my hollow jalapenos on the side so let's get this grace in uh god is where god's gonna be for food about to see what you just think about food because you're talking about it's a blessing 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 one of these bags of chips under here so y'all can see my sandwich. But yeah, y'all, it is... Where my other bag go? Oh. Yeah, y'all, it is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which is hum day. First bite. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Mm. First thing I have to eat all day. Here I go. I'm always leaving something. I forgot my napkin. So, y'all, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, people. What my napkins? Let's get off into this Wilder's. Beer. Now, I'm not tasting it like it's my first time because I have this all the time. But it's just that refreshing, good old flavor. If y'all ain't never tried it, try it. I like, I have raspberry, very tasty. This is a prickly pineapple, very tasty. And um, I have, my favorite is pear, prickly pear, I believe, or just pear. Pear is my favorite, favorite, favorite. 
Raspberry is my second favorite. And pineapple is my third favorite. And it was the one that I had cold in the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. But yeah, today I'm going pretty light. I've been going heavy for a minute. And I need it with some, something with some lettuce and tomato. Mm. Onion. Something that wasn't going to be too hard on my digestive system. I've been eating a lot of rice, potatoes, pasta. And some of that stuff ain't good every day. When you're already a big girl like myself. Mmm. I'm not going to give y'all nothing. And these bags are just all air. It's all up here. Mm -hmm. And I only ate one chip. So like a half a bag of chips, literally. And the rest of the chips, the rest of the bag is full of air. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna cut the roof of my mouth. These sharp ass kettle chips. Hold on, y'all. I'm recording. What's up? You got the house already? Uh-huh. Hey, can you text me at least the address? I'm in, uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Who? You just talked to her on the phone earlier. I don't have her address. I mean, I mean her number. That's what I meant to say. Like, uh-huh. No, I just texted her her number. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Love you, too. I could say I'm banking right now. I'm mud banking right now. I'm live right now. I'm recording right now. You know what they say? Oh, can you still do such, 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 such? Okay, how am I going to do this? It just took, just took me totally away from y'all. And I apologize for that. I really do. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this slide this time because um I oh copy okay that's how you do that then you go there and go back there let me send him this quick number right quick because if I don't send it now and try to send it later he's just gonna call me back thinking I forgot, which I didn't forget. I'm just doing something else. Paste. Okay, y'all. Alrighty. Back to the sandwich. Back to my bang. And the next call that come in, I can't say I ain't gonna answer it. It depends on who it is and the priority of the call. But, mmm, school is starting back. I have started back. Mmm, and um, traffic is getting bad or worse because. Parents do drop off and pick up these days. Kids don't really walk home from school no more. Like, I had to. Like, my kids had to. Because, you know, my oldest is 30. And my baby is 22. And so, well, my baby, I ain't gonna lie. She did walk home from school. I say half of her elementary life and the other half of her elementary life she probably walked but she still had an adult to walk with her. Junior high and high school everybody walked too. 
or caught the bus. Or call a ride with their friend. Because, um, <laughs> life ain't always easy. But if there's traffic, though, well, all, like, they got high schoolers getting dropped off and picked up at school. Seriously. And, I also live in a community where you got traffic in. The seniors are driving this year. So, we got non driving ass seniors on the road. What? Mommy carpool. And all of that. Okay? So, school starting back. Traffic is getting worse. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow's hump day. Mm. And we gonna go from there. This Jersey Mike sandwich is all slap. It's refreshing. It's tasty. It's good. It's light. Mmm. And it's juicy. Mm. So, what y'all got going on this week? What y'all got coming up this weekend? Let me see. Friday is the 16th, 17th of nine. I ain't got nothing planned. Well, do I? I don't know. I don't remember. Gotta look at my Palm Pilot, my Roller Decks. My Blackberry. <laughs> my calendar. But if I do have anything planned, most likely is local. I haven't been in church in a while. I would like to do that Sunday. Fellowship with my peoples. You know? I haven't did that. And I miss my church family. And I haven't been in church because... I hate to drive personally. My church is like an hour and 15, 20 minutes from my house. I know I could go to a church closer, but I choose not to. So what I do, excuse me, as a filler, until I get to my church I belong to and I like to go to a fellowship at, I do my online e-church with the Potter's, the Potter's House, Bishop T.D.J., if you don't know, now you know. But, uh, I haven't been. I would like to go. I need to go. But I, like I said, I hate to drive. And Sky, he drives for a living. So when the weekend comes, he don't want to drive at all. He don't even want to leave the house, to be honest with you. He don't even want to leave the house. And I'm... All of my friends in my church are mostly an hour and a half away. And the closest, oh my God, the closest relative I have. Oh no, I'm lying. Yeah. I will go say the closest relative I have was 45 minutes away, but not true. My mama 20 minutes away. 
At least a nephew 20 minutes away. My brother-in-law 30 minutes away. Mm. I got five minutes around the area. But everybody at least 20 plus minutes away from me. So, but I'm going to do that. I get ready to kick it. My partners and stuff. Everybody still like close. Mm. I got I got two I got two good friends out here where I live at. You got the five members that you kick it with all the time. Or whatever it's maybe. But yeah. I need to get to church. I need to do some fellowshipping. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that saying? When was it two or more? Or three or more gathered? I don't know. Google it. I just need to get it in me. I got to get that word. I'm a person that I got to stay connected and communicating with my creator. Seriously. That's the type of person I am. I have to. It keeps me grounded. keeps me focused. Mm. And that's like a club you go out with, go out to, with your partners, your friends, kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Music jumping, and combo, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just right. So, same thing you can do at church with your friends. Go to church, you got your partners that you got. When you get there, or roll with you. Praise and worship, jumping. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, music popping. Get that good word up in you. You go home with a nugget. Something that can last you, possibly a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Fourteen inch mud bag, jersey subs, baby, just like that. <laughs> you know what? I should have had them put some jalapeno on my sandwich. I'm a, such a control freak. I want to be able to control my heat. My heat. So, I eat it on the side. I don't want my sandwich bombarded with jalapenos. Plus, I already got peppers on there. Yellow peppers, banana peppers, whatever they call them. Hands is dry. That's because I use hand sanitizer all day, every day. I look down for my fanny pack because I usually wear a fanny pack all the time. And I keep my hand sanitizer and my fanny pack. It's always a go-to situation. I use so much hand sanitizer. My hands are so ashy here. And the cuticles, look at this. And the cuticles, and my, hand, my, my hands are always dry. My hands look like they aged before me. And that's because I can't keep moisturizer on my hands. I just, I can't. It doesn't work. It doesn't last because I'm constantly... Hand sanitizing, hand sanitizing, hand sanitizing. And it dries out my hands and leaves no moisture. And there probably is a hand sanitizer out there that has moisturizer in it. But then I don't trust it because I think moisture helps hold bacteria. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, excuse me. That's embarrassing. I got a little run there. A little runny run. <clears throat> and as y'all can see, I'm banging again without my grandbabies. I miss them. But they're doing their thing. Getting ready for school. Things of that nature. Can't stop they shine. 
Mmm. Mmm. I forgot this is wheat bread. Because I keep on getting an uneasy chew. When I bite down, I get an uneven chew because when I bite down, the seeds from the wheat bread, the grains, if you can see them, I don't know. When I bite down, I'm biting on the grain. I'm going between my teeth. And so my chew is uneven. I'm like, mm -mm. you know, you bite down something, you can feel like you bite down something. That's what. I'm like, why I keep feeling like I'm biting on something? And that's the wheat from the bread, the wheat seeds. And what have you. But what else I wanted to talk about? Hmm. It's about to be hot tomorrow. 104. Man. 104. Tomorrow. Wednesday. Thursday. It's supposed to be like 106. Hotter than tomorrow. That's Wednesday. Thursday it's supposed to be hotter. Friday it cools like 90 something. Saturday it's supposed to be 86. Sunday it's supposed to be like 86 or something like that. But. It's gonna be hot tomorrow. If I get out, I'm getting out early because mini heat don't get along. I don't know. I got some crazy genetics, and I don't know why it looks like. Well, I know why, but because I get it from my mom. I think it's called infertigo. Where your skin is blotchy and discolored in certain parts of your body. And so that runs in my family a whole lot. You see, I got a light spot here on my chin. And I got blotches on my face. On my chest, on my arms. No, those baby, those ain't blotches. Those are stretch marks. But anywho, ooh, it's an old school tattoo. Grapes. Okay. Space chips. Well, not space chips. Did the my um, tattoo, but the maker, the model, the 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 designer of space chips did my tattoos back in the day. Google space chips, okay? Space chips, like the monkeys, the chimpanzees, like space chips, okay? Well, the designer and the creator and the CEO of space chips. Did my tattoo years ago. This is supposed to be a batch of grapes. That's supposed to say grapes. This is so old school, y'all. Old. Old. When I first was so old, this is like during the time I first got my courage in getting tattoos. Old. Old. But anywho. Um, I got several tattoos since then, but, uh, yeah, he didn't do the tattoo. He just sketched some, I said, I wanted some, uh, uh, grapes. And if you knew me, if you know me or knew me, you understand why I wanted grapes tattooed on me and what it symbolized for me in my life. Okay. But if you know me, you know what this represents. And, no, I'm not in a gang. Never was a gang banger, except for I'm a mug banger. So I do bang on the mug bangs with the food and stuff like that. But I ain't no Crips and Bloods and all that kind of stuff. I don't gang bang on that level. Plus, I'm from Northern California. And they don't bang off of really, like, colors and stuff like that. They bang sets. You know what I'm saying? And mainly not colors. You know, they bang off turfs and stuff like that. Anyway, that's a whole other subject for a whole other freaking day. Um, I lost my train of thought just that fast 
Talk about tattoos. Oh my God, I hate when I this. Oh, and the reason why I got tattooed. So anyway, I was at church. Shout out, I think today is her birthday. Or tomorrow. Sheila Woolenham, Mother Woolenham, shout out to you, R.I.P. That was one of our church mothers. Hella funny. I got two funny stories I want to share about Mother. We call her Mother Woolenham. The first story about Mother Woolenham, I want to tell y'all my memory is, because I think today or tomorrow's her birthday. And she was one of the sweetest ladies that we had at our church, you know, I mean, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, baby. And always running, wanted to roll with the youngsters. What I mean by youngsters, she was like 50, 60, you know, 60s. I want to say going up into the 70s. And here we are uh, back then. It was probably like just, you know, you know, 40s, 30s and 40s and stuff like that. But she always wanted to hang with us. And she used to call us, me and uh, some other ladies, daughter and stuff. So she took us under her wing. We adopted her as her mother because her thing she always used to say was, I like to be celebrated and not tolerated. And we always celebrated her. And probably on a down low tolerated her too. But we was all good with her and she was all good with us. So one day we were going out of town for a church event. And we were going to Richmond. Okay. Now those from California, when we say Richmond, we already know. You understand what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. But a scop, a, uh, what is it, a hop, skip, and a jump, okay? So, we all, uh, we all in the church van, and we go and pick up Mother, right? Mother come out the house with suitcase, and we like, Mother, what you got the suitcase for? She was like, girl, because, you know, I can't be in Richmond um, without everything I need, all my accessories and stuff like that. And we like, Mother, it's just for the day. She was like, well, how we gonna get to Richmond and back to California in the same day. And I said, mother, where you think we going? And she was like, hey, we going to Richmond, Virginia? I was like, mother, there's a Richmond, California. And I was in Brentwood at that particular time, which is probably about a good 45 minute or hour drive from Brentwood, California to Richmond, California. But because she was not, and she is not from California, she's from Ohio or was from Ohio. Um, she had never heard of Richmond, California. She's only heard of Richmond, Virginia. So she had her bags packed, ready to go, baby, okay? She was going to Richmond, Virginia in her mind when we was going really to Richmond, California. That was one funny incident. And then about the tattoo. The second funny incident is when she noticed that I had a tattoo. She was like, oh, them was grapes. This must be grapes for the kingdom. I said, they show is grapes that represent the kingdom, mother. But I laughed so hard at my people that was with me, that knew me. And why I had this tattoo was we laughed and laughed and laughed. Because when I got this tattoo, baby, it was not representing grapes of the kingdom. Okay? It was representing, you got grapes. Okay? The, the grapes. If you know, if you're from Cali, you know what grapes, especially in the 2000s. Now they got cookies. Okay? And I can't, you know, <sighs> yeah, can't get, can't go get the cookies on me. But, you know, that was, I was younger and um, more, um, what do you call it? Ambitious. Daredevil. Why do they call it daredevil? I guess you gotta be devilish to, to do some of the stuff that the normal people wouldn't do. And that's why they call it a dare and devil. I don't know. Just trying to make sense out of this, some of this stuff. But it was funny. Y'all, I'm really getting full here. I think it's the beer that's getting me. I don't feel anything like tipsy or anything like that. But I'm getting, I'm starting to feel full. And I think it's the yeast inside of the beer. Plus, I'm eating chips. Mm. But yeah. Today is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. But I'm having Jersey sub. Now this fitted when I first got it. Oh, there we go. I think I'm gonna wrap them up, wrap him on up. What time is it? If I won't eat this tomorrow. 6.30. I'm a type of person that once the bread gets soggy, it's a wrap for me. So if I don't eat this before the bread gets soggy, 
I probably won't eat it. But Sky, he can push through some things that I can't push through. And he'll eat it. Like, my thing is, once the edges right here get soggy or wilted, I ain't feeling it no more. That's just, maybe it's psychological, maybe it ain't, I don't know. I just ain't, excuse me, I just can't deal with it at that point. So, if I'm able to come back at some time tonight and eat this, then I will. And this is not even what he's having for dinner. He's having Hawaiian barbecue, one of his favorite places. This right here ain't gonna do nothing but go right through him. Because he burns so many calories every day. His metabolism still runs pretty well at the age of almost 40. So, I'm going to set this aside. I tell y'all what. If I decide to come back to this sandwich tonight and it ain't soggy, I'll do a part two to the Jersey Mike's mukbang. And hopefully, I'll have some better commentary for y'all. And things of that nature... So we gonna set that to the side. I still got a whole bag of chips I didn't eat and basically a seven inch sandwich because there were 14 inches and I ate already half of the sandwich, which was seven inches. So seven, seven is 14. So half of 14 is seven. So it's seven inches left in a bag of chips, a whole bag of chips. He's here y'all, he's fresh off of work. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Just finishing my mukbang. Come say hi. I did eat. Come say hi to the people. Come say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's sweaty and hot. He ready to eat his dinner. Well, that's my cue. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. And uh, y'all, watch my videos. Get my videos out there. This is Granny Grin, y'all. I'm trying to come back every day with a video, y'all. I said I was going to give y'all one, one a week. So... I downloaded one yesterday, and today, and that was Monday, and today is Tuesday. And you might get another one today if I can edit this and get it out there to y'all. But anyway, like, share, subscribe. Tell my everybody about my videos. Comment down below. Let me know the challenge that you want me to do. I don't know what y'all want me to do unless y'all tell me what y'all want me to do. But I'm outie. Peace and blessings, people. Talk to you later.